Hey, what's up, YT? So, this is the YZ250, the O2, doing a build series on this. Um, this really doesn't pertain to it. Uh, after the series was done, the bike was finished. I haven't put out, published all the videos yet. I only published one little teaser video. Um, so I don't know really where this fits in, but I blew the bike up after fixing it. So now I'm kind of going back into it um and gonna do a new crank um new bottom end and transmission uh, has this flywheel weight on there and that's what i'm gonna do this video on is how to get this flywheel weight off if you don't have the special tool the special tool basically these unbolt um here that's what it looks like i'm not going to take this one out because it's already in there but these are three cert Three thirty seconds um, set screws. There's four of them, I believe. One, two, three, four. You have to unscrew those. Um, and basically, this threads on to the crankshaft right there, the end of it. Um, instead of being a bolt, this is your your bolt. It screws onto that. So it won't just slide off once you undo those set screws. You have to spin it off. And there's a special tool. If you look it up, um, flywheel weight installation tool. Uh, you can find them for like 20 bucks about or you know less. Um, probably about 20 bucks after shipping. And uh, But you can get it off without it. And my original idea was to put two screws like this. And then take the crowbar and go like that. And it wasn't working. All that was happening was is these were bending. And I even put like some 8.8, .8, like some high grade ones on there and they're still bending on me. So what I had to do was heat it up. Well, first off, I put some WD-40 in there for good measure um, in that hole right there. Heated it up put the, this crowbar on there like this and then just once it was nice and hot don't heat up the center you want that to be cold you want this to expand around it so just heat up right in the middle all the way around there and then just bang the top one right here um, and it it spun off so basically after hitting it spins off like this and that's what it looks like see it's 11 ounce and see how it's threaded on the inside there and then you could just once that's off take your flywheel puller it's a reverse thread just go the opposite direction you normally would get that in there and uh I use an impact to get doing this. I know some people probably say it's not the right thing to do, but looks good for me. And uh, I'm just I'll just get a socket on there, forget the size, and I'll just hit hit it with the impact, and that should just pop off. So there you go, quick and easy, no tool needed. Um, if you did need other ideas of how to get it off. If for whatever reason that's not working for you, you could try to put like a slit on the end right here with like an angle grinder and then just put like your pry bar or your, your uh, punch, whatever, right there and just try to spin it off that way by hitting it that, that way. Also, you could use like an air chisel, which probably would be your best bet. Put a little groove in there and then hit it with the air chisel. Um, if you're not worried about if you